You haven't heard of the word manscaping? It's a, it's a modern word for an old concept, the, the idea of grooming. A word that has some unfortunate connotations today. But whether we call it manscaping or grooming, the basic ideas are the same. It's basic cleanliness, appearance and posture. How you smell, how you look and how you stand. And we want to deal with this in the series of stewarding our bodies. You might say, is this really necessary? Does the Bible not say that God looks in the heart for Samuel 16, 7? Yes, the Bible does say that, but it also says this, man looks on the outward appearance. You see, God looks on the heart, but we look on the outside. That's what employers look at. That's what women look at. That's what we look at. And therefore, the outside matters. We're not talking about our spiritual standing before God. We're talking about our social standing before men and before women. Now, can this be carried too far? Can it become a Phariseeism? Of course it can. But when Jesus criticized the Pharisees, what he was criticizing was that they were only interested in the outward appearance. They were only interested in grooming the body while having totally ungroomed hearts. He wasn't saying, don't care about your outward appearance. He was saying, groom your heart first and most. So, when we think about this subject, we're really just thinking about common sense. I'm afraid I've known too many men and young men who have actually really damaged, if not ruined, their relationships, friendships, even their their job prospects and even their ministries through just the lack of basic care for grooming, how they look, how they smell. So I want to look at this under these three headings. And I, when we do this, I want to be careful that I'm not imposing my own preferences, my own cultural norms. So I don't want to get too detailed here, but just give you some big picture stuff, right? So let's start with, with cleanliness. And the basic question here is, are you doing enough so that you do not look or smell dirty? And the, the areas you want to look at are brushing your teeth, um, shaving or trimming your beard, showering, washing your hair, cutting your hair. Are you doing enough in these areas to look and smell clean? Uh, and you can also think of like your your clothes? Are you changing your socks enough? Are you changing your underclothes enough? Are you changing your bed clothes enough? Are you changing your shirts enough? So that again, you look and smell clean. And I think the key point here is ask other people. So basic cleanliness. Secondly, appearance. Again, big picture is do you have a suitable range of clothes for your particular needs responsibilities and situation. So you want to think of, number one, do I have a clothing budget so that I'm renewing my clothes regularly enough? Do I have a suitable range of clothes for, for my situation, whether it's work or church or sports or casual? Can't wear the same clothes to every single situation, so you need a range of clothes. You, you might want to think about getting yourself a, a nice suit, tie, shirt, shoes, just for special occasions, maybe interviews. Um, and a, another point is just care for your clothes. There's no point in spending a lot of money on clothes if you just leave them in a big dirty heap on the floor. You know, so hang them up, fold them, wash them, even iron them. You know, I know you might think if you pick up an iron, it might kill you. But no, actually, men can use these without dying. So learn how to iron to press your clothes as well. So cleanliness, clothing, posture. There's no point in cleaning up and dressing up if you don't sit up and stand up. And it's especially hard for us today because we spend so much of our time, many of us at desks, kind of slouched over computers or hunched over our phones and Sometimes we look more like orangutans than, than men. Um, so give some attention to how you sit, how you stand when you're at your desk, in your car, at home. And, and 
and really, this is this is not just about your bearing, your dignity, how you appear to others. It's actually also looking after your skeleton because many of us are storing up massive problems in years to come in our 40s and 50s when all our bad posture will start uh, hitting home with back pain and many dollars spent on physiotherapy and painkillers and so on. So it's partly self-interest as well as uh, the interests of others as well. So clean up, dress up, stand up. Real men are groomed men. <laughs>